So the last five years, we've been documenting the dinosaur tracks around Womerton, James Price Point, around 25 kilometres of coastline. And in that time, we've discovered and observed literally thousands of dinosaur tracks and have been able to determine that this area preserves one of the most diverse dinosaur track faunas anywhere in the world. Nowhere else has as many different types of dinosaurs represented by tracks than Womerton does. I think realising that, you know, for this area, that pretty much gives us a look at Australia's dinosaur fauna from a period of time where we've got no other fossils, we see a unique dinosaur fauna that includes things like stegosaurs and some of the biggest dinosaurs to have ever walked the planet, gigantic sauropods that left tracks up to 1.7 metres long. So animals that we probably never would have dreamed of seeing in Australia had we not found their tracks and recorded them in this area. We were invited to this area by the Galara Blue traditional custodians who were aware of the tracks there but needed their scientific significance properly showcased and documented. The, the tracks at Womerton are part of a song cycle so they relate to the creation mythology associated with their, this area and specifically the tracks represent the journey or show the journey of a creation being called Morella or the emu man. So wherever he went he left behind three toed tracks um, that now we recognise as the tracks of meat eating dinosaurs. So we spent many hours, we worked out probably around 400 hours out on the reefs at low tide looking for tracks, so literally tracking dinosaurs and then when we find tracks cleaning them, measuring them, photographing them and in instances where we had important tracks making silicon peels so that we could make plastic replicas to go in the West Australian Museum. One of the biggest challenges in this area is that the tracks are only exposed for a short time when the tide retreats. So you can't get out there and lay tape measures out and take your time recording them. You've got to be able to do it really quickly. So we ended up using drones and then also teaming with Airborne Research Australia from Flinders University to fly over and map the tracks from the air um, digitally and also with laser scanners as well. And this has provided us with a really detailed digital record of this entire coastline that we can now start to use for, for ongoing research. So most dinosaur fossils from Australia come from the east coast, from Queensland and Victoria and a few spots in New South Wales. And the majority of those areas are from about 115 million years ago up to about 90 million years ago. So all our dinosaurs and everything we've sort of figured out for the Cretaceous comes from that time slice. Broome and Womerton comes from about 130 million years ago. So from a completely unknown period of time as, insofar as the dinosaur fossils go from elsewhere. So it really does fill in an important gap in the dinosaur fossil record in Australia.